Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to demonstrate an easy way to access the Content Center to create parts in more of a one-off fashion, uh, just really quick access. So a lot of times when we work with Content Center, it's in the context of an assembly, right? We'll place a component, whether that be custom or standard or through frame generator, or tube and pipe, etc. But sometimes I just need to make a part. Maybe it's a simple tube that I want to put some holes or slots in, whatever. So instead of starting up an assembly and bringing in the part, what I can do is come up to the File tab, go to the Open, and I can actually open files directly from the Content Center. So I'll go ahead and do that. And it depends on what you're going to grab, you know, what's in your Content Center, etc. But I'll just go ahead and I filtered by ANSI. I'm looking at square tubes, and here's an ANSI square tube. So I'll double click on that. <clears throat> and of course, you pick the size you want. So I'll pick, I'll just leave it as the standard, but let's say it's going to be a 48 inch piece, and I want it to be custom because I want to put some features on it. So I go ahead and hit OK. And it's just like placing it when I was in an assembly. I get to save it. So I'll call this like intermediate tube section you know whatever and then it saves it opens it up and now I'm working on it just like it's a part so I'll go ahead and really quickly apply a feature to it I've already been working with some clearance holes so I'll just go ahead and place this just to illustrate that it is just like working with any shape and so it, it grabbed all of the stuff from the content center too, so I can now get access to whatever the orientation was, in which case, or in this case, it's like X, Y, Z, but now I can make a circular pattern, whoops, about the Z axis of the shape. We'll just do two at 90 degrees, and voila, we're able to work with the part. So just a quick hitting tip today, really nice and easy way to access content center data so you can just make parts without having to get into the assembly. I hope you found this helpful and have a blessed day.